Basically, what he's saying is that in order for you to have a great reputation and protect it, you must destroy everybody else's reputation out there. This is where it entirely falls apart. This is a strategy people use. There will be people that will try to attack you to make themselves look better, and you should protect yourself. But at the same time, really, you're going to become that person. You're literally going to become one of the worst people you could ever know in order to protect your own reputation. We are teaching you how to read, interpret, and use the 40 Laws of Power. If you did not see the first video, you should go back to that. It's going to make a whole lot more sense. Make sure you share. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. And make sure you comment. Okay, Robert, Robert, Robert. That's what I would say. Uh, so what he does, he does this fascinating look at human nature, okay? But he never tells you, but don't do this because you'd be the worst person on planet Earth or be careful that others may do this to you even though you wouldn't do it to them. He doesn't do that. So let's just go because this is one of those that's like soup together. I mean, I basically shred one, two, and three. Uh, I have a most great affinity for number four and how to use it. Five, I'm like, wow, this is just like casserole okay so much depends on reputation guard it with your life hey that's that's true to a large degree where it is not true is in essence to guard it at all costs people are going to make decisions about you and have opinions about you and if you're a person that stands for something big you can't run around chasing all those opinions down if people don't like you and that's what i think a person thinks when they think of guarded at all costs in other words if somebody is somehow attacking your reputation, you would take appropriate means to defend that. But you can't sit there on social media and write, read 50,000 comments that somebody says something negative about you and try to attack each one of them and bury your enemy. And in essence, this is what he says. He says, reputation is the cornerstone of power. I would say that reputation is very much a cornerstone of power. I think that's brilliant. When I talk about Robert Greene, I have an affinity for the wisdom that he applies in the book. My criticism is he doesn't tell you whether or not this is something you should do or just be aware others might do to you. And that's the caution. Through reputation alone, you can intimidate and win. Again, he always has this, fixa this fixation on intimidation. Um, I don't have a problem with victory because I think pretty much everything in, a, in life can be a victory and have that to be good. If you're in a relationship, um, it's a bad idea to say, I want to win every argument with my spouse because that makes your spouse a loser perpetually and who wants to be married to a loser, right? But instead you say, I want to win this relationship. I want to win over what is good for us. I want to win her heart. I want to win this circumstance so we can build. Well, yeah, that's a good time to want to win something for that purpose. He goes on to say, once it slips, however, you are vulnerable and you will be attacked on all sides. I also agree with that. I There's enough people in the world that are pretty nasty that want to take pot shots at pretty much everyone and attack them. It's actually one of the reasons that I'm giving credit to Robert Greene in his recent interviews where he says, listen, I think a part of this book, if you did these things, you'd be horrible to be around, but the rest of it is really good. And I'm taking that insight. What he doesn't really explicitly do, although, like I said, I'm not a Robert Greene historian or biographer, so he may have in other places, he doesn't really distinguish them much. He makes them all sound like good, righteous things to do throughout the book, so the naive person would actually go, oh, okay, this is what powerful people do, then I'll do it too. Make your reputation unassailable. Always be alert to potential attacks and thwart them before they happen. Meanwhile, learn to destroy your enemies by opening holes in their own <laughs> reputations, then stand aside and let public opinion hang them. Basically, what he's saying is that in order for you to have a great reputation and protect it, you must destroy... Uh, everybody else's uh, reputation out there. This is where make this entirely falls apart. Now, this is a strategy people use. There's no doubt about it. There will be people that will try to attack you to make themselves look better, and you should protect yourself from some of these false accusations from a big, uh, a, you know, a, a big enemy that's going to target you and try to try to uh, hurt your reputation. But, but at the same time, really, you're going to become that person. You're literally going to become one of the worst people you could ever know in order to protect your own re reputation. Remembering, by the way, none of these are laws. That's just a word that he uses. They're not actual laws. They're realities about many people who do gain power, but they're not laws. Anyway, um, so you'd ask yourself two questions. Remember the principle, the end does not justify the means. So if the means here to building a great reput reputation are bad, which means poking holes in your other, your adversaries, uh, and even making stuff up about them, 
That's a very bad idea. Secondly, the golden rule. Would you want them doing that to you? No, you wouldn't, so don't do it to them. You know, standing aside and let the public opinion hang them, I mean, the only problem with that is that you're literally setting a person up to be hung, and according to this, it may not even be a true thing that you're doing to set them up to be hung. So again, the end doesn't justify the means. But at the same time, yes, reputation is a cornerstone of power, cornerstone of influence. If you have a bad reputation, people aren't going to want to listen to you. If you have a good reputation, they are going to want to listen to you. So mixed reviews, one thumb up, one thumb down on the fifth law. So much depends on reputation. Guard it with your life. Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, comment, and I want to know what you think of these videos. Hey there, Giant. Thanks for watching Durand On Demand. I need your help with something. The world desperately needs more giants. You know it and I know it. We've been around a lot of people struggling, figuring out how to make things go. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share this with as many people as you can. We're gonna build this audience and we're gonna help people slay dragons together.